Welcome to another TA Tech Tip. Today, we will learn about fluid and soft sample loading using parallel plates on TA's rotational rheometers. When loading many fluids or soft solids, it is often hard to judge the appropriate amount needed to achieve a correct fill under the geometry. Many times, too much sample is used and sample trimming is required. But what if there's not enough sample? If we look at the main rheological parameters of interest, stress, strain, and shear rate, all are directly dependent on the area in contact with the sample, normally the surface area of the geometry, and thickness of the sample gap. When too little of a sample is loaded, there will be an incorrect area for the stress calculation. Because of this, the resulting viscosity or modulus values would be incorrect. With parallel plates, it is possible to change the gap and reduce the volume underneath the geometry so the loaded sample volume is filled in the gap correctly. The gap can be modified using either the arrows on the touch panel in the front of the rheometer or the gap control panel in TRIOS. Lower the gap until the correct fill is seen or if an excess is noted, then sample trimming can be completed. The new gap will not match the operating gap value set in your geometry template. A prompt message will appear at the start of a test. By clicking no, the new revised gap will be utilized, therefore the equations will be correct. This approach is only possible for parallel plate geometries, as with a cone, the gap used has to match the geometry truncation. In this TA Tech Tip, we learned how to test an underfilled fluid using parallel plates without reloading the sample. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments.